yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so maybe we should explain how laser works because a lot of people won't really get it. Uh, so bear with us. We will explain just this one laser. Uh, where is it? Yes, at least once. Good explanation once. Just once. And so I think Amnesia is about to get a laser. So when the laser is cleared, then wherever you your active piece is, it will fire in the left column of that piece. So my, I did this because I want to fire this left side. Okay, so there are mind games going on here. He knows the laser would be better on the right. You know, if there's a hole on the right, that would be a disaster. So he's trying to catch me off guard. He's not clearing it right away, right? Am I reading your mind correctly? You, you're trying to get it in the middle or on the right or something, not on the left? Problem is that it's actually falling quite fast, so it's not easy to take the time to decide because it's at level 96. Mm -hmm. It's already coming fast. But, but you could have played a lot faster, right? You could have. Yes, maybe but, I slow down to time it and to uh, catch up you in the middle. But he his timing psyched me out. I thought the laser would have like fired already. So he actually catches me with my pants down. He's going to fire the laser in the middle stack because I just placed a no there. And now the laser, if you mash as a defender, if you mash A, B, C, you can make it wider. Um, and you can also mash left or right and nudge it left and right as well. So I forget what I did here. Did I move it left one or did I just make it four fat? I think I, I, I made it move left once and then I made it four wide. Yes, move left once at least. But that, that's like a, that's, that's like, that's, that's my mashing technique. It works really well. In fact, it works so well. Uh, I think this is a big mistake from you. I think you needed to counter mash. Because coming too fast. So on my side, I cannot counter smash at level 100, actually. Mm. It, it's hard, but you, you have like an OP is coming up. You're in RA right now. You know, you can mash any time. It doesn't have to be oh, active time. I had the uh, L PCs. So the L was rotating on my screen. I had to stop insisting with mashing. Oh, okay. Actually. Okay. I don't know. Even if you just made it three wide, I think it makes a difference. Well, three, no, I know it's not possible anymore to to get you with three. The best we can do against your machine is three. Is three. Look at this recovery, by the way. Did you see this? The, you can see it coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, this one is really going bad for you. Yeah, I think two missed drops in a row. One of them from your item, which is embarrassing. <laughs> but I get a laser. So that laser, I want to maximize the damage, okay? You'll see, what am I going to do? Here I have an option for the laser. I could take it this piece, I could take it next piece. I remember this fucking one. Uh, it was unbelievable for me. Because I was really seeing you with your laser, I was waiting for it. And I couldn't do it. <laughs> so he is trying he is trying desperately to fatten his laser, make it two units wide at least. But I mashed so hard that it stayed one unit wide the whole time. So that, uh, that's possible that's... real. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I've ever counter mashed two units because surely you must. You're you're pretty good at mashing. You think you would have at least had two expansions? I was certain I would. It was it was guaranteed for me to have two. Always, two. But I, yeah. So I must have had anti two. Which the counter masher, I I think they have to mash slightly faster. So I was really on point with my mashing there, but despite my horrible start, you know. Playing, playing the laser uh, very well can bring you back into the game. Uh, I say this as I'm about to die, but uh, <laughs> never yes, mind. I think so, but it's believable that I had a chance. I pay less attention when I'm nervous. I get another laser here. I can't remember if I do anything with it. It takes a while for me to threaten it. Now I'm threatening right. it. That will be the most the, the most nasty laser you got on this war FT ten. I was desperate. I wanted to to come to give up actually to drop really? my game. 
Da you will see. Cookie <laughs> factory. Oh god, I love it. Do so you see I stopped uh, looking at my PC that was watching that and saying That's that's both <laughs> rounds. The laser hate you really hard. I Bo needed two high in row to, to save this. Wow. Yeah, and you, you even paused before challenging again because you were in shock. <laughs> <laughs> And at the last tournament, it was not like that. Last tournament, I was. Uh, you see here. I, I mm. was. I was happy for you to waste your time uh, with your counter mashing. So, you've got to be a little more tactical with when to counter mash, because otherwise, you could have placed maybe two or three pieces, right? So okay, so it was useless to do it now. Mm. You just need to pray to uh, the hard block gods. That that's oh. good. They see the laser defense here. So he Amnesia is attacking me with the laser this time. And see, I noticed when he was going to take it. It was on his screen a very long time. I was watching carefully, and I noticed <laughs> when he got the right piece. And, and as soon as he got the right piece, I left my piece in the middle of the screen. You know, I just let it chill out there. And then he's counter mashing. I, I do a double mash through his counter mash. I don't know if I win or lose this round, but regardless, that was a good laser play. Green, well, there I get, I get the laser. I don't fire it right away. Amnesia slows down just a little bit when he comes out, when it comes out. Like he's aware of that laser. I know he's aware. Totally. And, uh, you know, as soon as I was threatening it, he stopped. And I want to play that again, because that's just a lot's happening in a very short amount of time there. So I'm threatening a laser with his eyepiece. He's defending it expertly here. Like, even without counter mashing, he could just mash to the right and open up his Tetris hole he doesn't care. That would be a very strong move. But I... Like, I'm not confident. Like, our pieces will land at the same time. I drop a piece. Now, all of a sudden, I have height advantage. He will hit the ground before me. And his options are very, very limited. You know, if he goes against the wall, that's a reasonable move. If he goes in the middle, that's a terrible move. I know he's probably going to move it against the wall. So, I wait, he's waiting it out, and then I time it so that the next piece, the next piece gets hit. Because <laughs> I know I have the time to spare. I could just time it right. I knew when his piece was going to auto-lock, I had that timing down. Um, so, that's just very good. And then, I don't even know if he was counter-mashing or not, or, but... I wasn't. No? But regardless, firing that laser in the middle of the board, like good laser play wins you a game, like just with that one item. It's definitely the number one underused items by uh, beginners. And we, by uh, its probability, actually, you are, we are almost sure to have it once at every, at every round. Yeah, it's, it's fairly common. So it's, it's quite important to get used to that laser. Nope, it's not really helping me. I finish you for this nasty laser. I don't... I zoned out for a bit there. I don't know how you turned that around, but very well done. Did you get a recovery item? Uh, maybe. Oh no, I, I was just lucky, maybe.